Two years have passed since the Taliban group seized power in Afghanistan and the nation finds itself teetering on the brink of collapse. Hundreds of thousands are facing hunger while millions grapple with joblessness and crushing poverty. The humanitarian and economic catastrophe already inflicting immeasurable suffering on countless individuals shows no signs of relenting and in fact is anticipated to worsen. In a recent development, the United Nations World Food Programme announced that it would be forced to cut food aid to an additional 2 million people in Afghanistan. This grim decision is a direct consequence of inadequate funding. The World Food Programme has received merely a quarter of the essential financial support required to sustain its operations in Afghanistan this year. The cuts will have a devastating impact on the people of Afghanistan who are already facing a severe hunger crisis. This reduction in food assistance comes at a time when concerns over diminishing aid for Afghanistan are mounting. The World Food Programme estimates that 15 million people in Afghanistan are facing acute food insecurity and the cuts could push millions more into hunger. 15 million people who actually need food assistance. Um, but we've had to cut from March, 13 million people was kind of our, our winter planning period. Um, and then in May, we had to reduce 8 million people from assistance. And this month, we're having to reduce another 2 million. That means 10 million people that we had served previously and who need assistance are going to bed hungry without any food assistance that WFP is able to provide. Afghanistan, emerging from decades of conflict, now operates under the internationally isolated rule of the Taliban who assumed control following the withdrawal of US-backed forces in 2021. An astonishing three-quarters of the population now depends on humanitarian aid for survival. The development assistance that previously sustained the government's finances has been severed while sanctions against the Taliban and frozen central bank assets abroad have exacerbated the crisis. Additionally, restrictions on women imposed by the Taliban, preventing many from working, continue to hinder the country's path towards formal recognition and recovery.